mathematics, right? Mm -hmm. Our Islam is mathematics. Dang. Dang. All children Come on. are being kidnapped yes. by ideology Dang. other than Islam. Gangs, Afrocentricity, or the so called culture of hip hop. Huh. We're losing our children yes, sir. Yes, sir. to all of these other ideologies yes, because take it and let it alone, don't cut it today. Right. I would like to put on the table philology. Philology is important because it not only helps us more accurately read and understand scripture. But it's important also because it protects the word of God from being theologically and dogmatically manhandled. There's so many sciences that we can, we should, before this fight is over. One, before the death settles and smoke clears, we will be called upon to engage all of these sciences. Because Islam is everything. And it just so happens that such isogenic moves Folks like to bludgeon us with an invasion of Islam. All right, sir. That's right. That's right. They like to bludgeon us not with the Quran right. Right. or the words of Allah right. in the Quran. Right. Right. They want to bludgeon us with the words about the valley, but make us believe that it's the words of Allah in this book, the Quran. Right. 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 Philology demands that these texts be read in the light of the linguistic requirements, in the light of the grammar of the text. What is the philological importance of that term? That means what did it mean at the time it was written and immediately before it? Don't give me a 2011 definition of a 4,000 year old word. Definitely don't give me a 2011 English definition of a 1,000 year old Arabic word or 4,000 year old Hebrew word. So I would like to just cite a few examples of the utility of this science of philology for our efforts at a scientific analysis and route to mm. prove Come on now. that what the Honorable Elijah Muhammad said about God, he was right and everyone else was wrong. These are two different books. This is a Hebrew Bible. That is to say, the Bible in its original Hebrew. Right, right. Come on, this is King James Bible. The Bible of King James and his five team of translators. These are fundamentally different books. Yes, sir. Go ahead. The guy that this book appears Come on. when he chooses to do so as a man or in the form of a man because he is literally a man. This book declares it over 11 times. For example, Yahweh is Milchemat. Yahweh is a man of war. Philology requires respecting the syntax. But what King James did was eisegesis. <laughs> so philology wow. helps restore the text. And so we can discern what God says. Huh? And God actually does not contradict himself. He says he's a man, the buck says he's a man, and he doesn't contradict it here. He just 
qualifies what kind of man he is and he ain't. Well, if the God of these two books are the same by this book's confession, if this book is a man, then what is the God? If the God of this book is a man, on, what now. is the God of this book? Come on now. <laughs> All right. That can be your religion if you want. That's not the religion of Prophet Muhammad. Prophet Muhammad was explicit. His God is a shot. Huh? Now, this is Bukhari, this is Muslim, huh? but even if it wasn't, it would still be up. <laughs> Our Maurit tells us a shot is a person, an individual, a man. Huh? A man. Ibn Manzur, a shot is a denotes the bodily or corporeal form or figure or something of a man. Huh? Ibn al Jawzi. The term shocks implies the existence of a body composed of parts. For one term, something a shocks because it possesses bodyliness and height. That's what Prophet Muhammad's God was by his own admission. There you go. Go ahead, take your time. That's right. Who the who? Sing that term. Wow. Now I'm on lock. That is not neither sleep nor slumber. Neither sleep nor slumber overwhelm him. Let's understand what's going on. He doesn't sleep. Laugh. You're not on it. That's he doesn't sleep. That's not what's here. What's here is neither sleep nor slumber overwhelm him. Go ahead, teach. God, teach. No, he don't sleep. But, no. He can resist. You know, I'm reminded of, you know, the Savior, Master Farad Muhammad. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. We're told that the Honorable Elijah Muhammad never. Saw him sleep. And so.